This the link up. This the link up. This the link up. Welcome to the link up. This the link up. This the link up. This the link up. Welcome to the link up. Oh. Yes, yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the Link Up Podcast with you, it's Mr. King, Kana, and no words here in the building. Yeah, words have technical difficulties. I was, you technical know, I, difficulties? Yeah, yeah, I was going to go a different way, but you know, I'm going to be the man best. I'm going to be you see, you bring it up. I yeah, wasn't going to put, put the man business out there like that, but I mean, if you need to see a doctor about his bleeding, yeah, problems, I think then, he you know, should get a check, though. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It sounded serious, you know, but, he was telling us about it. By band aid, I'll help die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need a lot more than that. Like, you gotta hear this, and you gotta be so vexed that you man. Bit, yo, no, great. I had to deal with this for two weeks. Okay, okay that yeah. was for two weeks. No, they had they had a time. They had when I couldn't be on the show, uh-huh. and like because I was out the country, and then more the man go all of a sudden say, "Yeah, Kana ain't gonna be here because you know he had diarrhea." Yeah, serious <laughs> diarrhea. Yeah, see, that even is normal, like serious he diarrhea. Said, yeah. I, exact word. I believe his words were explosive diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ex- yeah. That was those. And then oh, and by the way, yeah, you know, I was just going. <laughs> I was just going to the king. The, the person I can't hear speaking this Kalisa like like you already said, we ain't got yeah. words in the building. You know, you're talking a Ruben. You just got to have one on. Right? Yeah, we need to have at least one. Hey, that's yeah. true. We words from Aruba too. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. kind of. But yeah, we got Kalissa replacing Woods here since he couldn't be here. You know, she's joining us on camera. You might have heard her voice and stuff like that from previous episodes. That was the voice behind the scenes. The only female that you would hear. You know, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is what she looks like. Um, as for plugs, you got something to get out of the way before we introduce the young man? King. Oh, you, oh, I was trying to figure out like, who you was lying to. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, I mean, the, the plugs the same this week as they are usually or have been for a while. Make sure to check out Flyover by the Tree Conscious Cats as well as Is You Crazy, FBR, Real, all the other songs that we have, a couple stuff as well under my name as Mr. King. So check those out too. And yeah, that's about it. And then on Wood's behalf, well, his mixtape should be finished by now. He just got to be doing um, the finishing touches on it. So y'all um, look out for that. Hmm. Party-wise, from... Yeah, this supposed to be something going on in King's Day. I can't really remember. So I'm going back to Ayodhya. Uh, I believe it's yeah. a party in Den Haag or Rotterdam. Yeah, but no, they got something yeah. that we do in self with Sir Concepts. But um, from the 29th, I believe, of April, every Monday in John Doe, we're going to be, you know, throwing a party. Woods will also be DJing. Um, yeah, so if you have nothing else to do, if, you have, if you're in Amsterdam on Monday, hit me up, hit up Woods. And yeah, come party but with he, us. But he expensive, man, as a DJ. But nah, nah, because, man. Because I, I, I want to do a, a, a Latin party in Arnhem. Oh, yeah? You know, what, what's the work with you, man? Check okay, Woods. Cool. Check cool. Woods. And yeah, that's, that's, that's about... Right up Woods Ali for sure, yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. He don't miss the Suavecita. And the Latin vibes. <laughs> I mean, Suavecita, oh, shit, crap. I just forget. I mean, yeah, see, uh, same thing. Woods, Woods a special friend. He could probably go with both. But um, right. yeah, that's about it for my plugs. Yeah, Talisa? No. <laughs> um, follow me yeah. on Facebook. <laughs> follow. Follow me. On or Ada as a friend. Yeah, I guess. Or Ada as a friend. I joke, I joke, really. But yeah, having all the plugs and stuff out there. You know, we got a guest here in the building today. Join us. We got Ryan Susanna in the building. Hello, guys. Good afternoon or morning. Why this? By whenever they choose to listen yeah. to it. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Why this? Why do we call this? this is afternoon? We don't I know what time it is when you go listen. Yeah, we, we ain't care about the. the, the that yeah, that's on yeah, yeah. It's it's yeah, it's at your leisure. At your good at your night, home. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing? So with all of that, would like, like would you like to tell the people a little bit about yourself? Because this is my first time meeting you. I heard a lot about you. Was listening to. You know, it seemed that you're a pretty well known guy that I would just un- Pretty well known. I have like two hundred friends. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Facebook friends, like five real ones. <laughs> <laughs> Let me not well, it seems that you be doing stuff out there. Yeah. Well, I, I gonna say I gonna say this as well. Like I this is the first time me meeting you as well, but I've heard your name before. And I've from I'm gonna leave you in, like introduce yourself and stuff like that, but I've heard from what I've heard, what you just do, you're pretty good at it. Yeah. Oh, cool. Like, so, yeah. so I'm um, a software engineer. Um, I've been like programming mm-hmm. for like eight years. Um, most of my teenage life, I just been programming because I ain't really had that much of a social life. I was kind of the nerd. 
Okay. Mm. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, I had enjoy my tell <laughs> Like I play video games. I I ain't had so much drama. And like now I've been a professional, so doing it as a job for like four years now. Okay. And I'm like in my third year of um, my bachelor program. So. And just so the people don't understand, how old are yeah, you? Yeah, I just like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm 21 now. 21. I just made 21. You've been working as a professional for four years already. So yeah. you started at what 17? If yeah. if I'm good at math. So um, I had because my my mom used 21 to like one minus four. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't good at it either now. So don't even. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't even trip. Wow. What? Jeez. Anyway, she started already now. Continue. But, continue. Um, continue. <laughs> so my mom used to like because I didn't do well in school. Mm-hmm. Like I was I was pretty not interested in school. It's not like I was dumb or something. You were just lazy. Mm-hmm. Well, not even because I used to like do courses on the side mm-hmm. and like fail at school. So I was really educated. I, like I really like education, but I really so don't like school. school. Okay. okay. I so, can relate to that hundred percent. We'll continue. So that was my whole thing. So back when I was like 15, so I used to be working. I, I had work at um, Music Man for a while. Hmm. I, then I got a, a plug, a job offer. Shout out Melvin Ruction. He got me. Okay. Um, okay. Shout out MBA too. Yeah, shout out all of them. Duncan, all of them. He got me a summer job because he knew I was in this into this coding stuff mm-hmm. at um, where he was working at a car rental on St. Martin. Mm-hmm. And from there, I they were just really happy with what I was doing there. And then I like, slowly just got better and climbed up the ranks there. And just then at a certain point, um, like I was working and I was making like a good amount for my age, right? Mm-hmm. But then. I remember it was back in the year when um, Kanye dropped that album. That's that the life of Pablo. So I got my first paycheck, right? And I bought because I feel I was feeling like I was like the shit now. Mm-hmm. So I bought like a Pablo. chain. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I went to the jewelry store. I bought a chain, and then on a, on a track, I heard um, Yeezy say, "Most black men couldn't balance a checkbook, but buy a new car." Talking about how my neck looked. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So. As soon as I hear that, I chicken like, boy, I ain't shit for real, boy. I just like, <laughs> I just like the rest of them. Hey, hey, but I can respect, I can respect that self awareness of it though, because yeah. I mean, they got people twice your age. I still ain't realize that yet. So, so what happened was I started just looking at ways for me to just like, because I already had at that point four years of me just programming. Okay. So I was looking at to see if I could get opportunities at company to write software. So I had this group of um two of my two of my homies. One of them is a programmer and the other one is more into like law and business and that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. And we got um my mother actually helped us get a a, um, a job for a company and we ended up doing a really good like it's it's probably something that you guys had experienced before with is something in the pharmaceutical industry that we made software for a company on the island. Okay. And hmm. It went really well. Like my father's a pharmacist mm-hmm. and he was using it as, as well. So at that point, we kind of, I kind of like started growing a name because I feel like I was working at the car rental place, mm-hmm. but I felt like I was going into the direction where I can just be an average person, you know? Okay. So then I realized, okay, let me do something. So let me do this freelancing thing, start up like a small business. When I was 17. You can't really open a business when you're 17 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. at the time. And... Yeah, that, that's how I kind of start really being professional, professional. So, but okay. So, mm-hmm. what what exactly is you do websites? Mm-hmm. You do code. Um. So yeah, give 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 us a list. Cause so I, what I just do is that I I'm like a lot of people that just do websites call themselves programmers and coders or whatever. But I think Rashid is an IT developer. You should know like. Um, website design and actual programming is two it's things. really two different things like you a lot of CSS people okay so explain ex- explain the difference then so um, a lot of people like a lot of developers on island and designers because they really are designers they just basically go on stuff like template sites mm-hmm. download a template for like I don't know if you guys are familiar with WordPress mm-hmm. or like mm-hmm. content management systems mm, and no, it, but yeah, so it's just they just resell it to their customers okay. for a very low price, and then they get really low quality stuff that works. But then after two years, it's just like okay, we want to change something. Yeah, I don't know how to change it. It's part of the template or the mm-hmm. team or the plugin that I buy for this. So then that's not really a programmer in my eyes. Okay, so a programmer is actually making doing it from scratch. Or like is actually put like how, how 
when you say you just write code, mm-hmm. explain for the people like me who ain't really tech savvy, well, not tech savvy, but code savvy, what was the process of it? Like, when you're writing a code? So, you always, like, um, was, I, I just do a lot of solo work. So, solo as in just Based one-on-one with a business. Oh, okay, okay. Instead of, like, working in a team and such. Mm-hmm. So, it's just, so I, do, I do the whole stack. So, I sit down with them. I have business talks. Talking, okay, what, what's your idea? Okay, we want an app that does this and this and that and that and that. And I go through it, design the app, as in design how the technicalities behind the app look first, then design the face of the app, present it to them. Oh, you like it? No, we change that. And then I just make it in, um, and I implement it in just writing code. So you would, so I, I specialize in a certain stack mm-hmm. of programming because you go different routes mm-hmm. with it because you use, there's a thousand different programming languages and stuff mm-hmm. like this. And yeah, just implement it in that stack. So whatever the client kind of require, requires. So if they want an app, they want a website, they want a backend server, they want some type of automation, mm-hmm. they want, like I, I did music um, music rendering stuff. So where stuff where like a lot of, he, he, he had to EQ basically automatically. Okay. And stuff like this. Or... So just a lot of technical. Um, That's a lot of shit that over my head. I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a lot. It's, I really do anything um, tech wise to a certain extent. So like a lot of stuff I can't do either. Okay. okay. So and you you find you see stuff like staying here in in Holland stuff, or you plan on going back? So my whole thing is that um, I'm a freelancer because first of all I don't want to work for anybody again, and second of all. Um, or I don't have to want to depend on mm-hmm. nobody ever again. And second of all, I don't ever want to stay in the same or have to stay in the same place for too long. I so, see. yeah, I want to be able to support the island, but I also want the island to be able to support me back, right? And I want to be able to say, okay, let me go to Chile to do this project for six months, or let me go to Amsterdam to do this project for six months, or let me go to Spain to do a project, or let me go to somewhere in Asia, for instance. And I want to have that freedom to be able to choose and move along with it by that I, by I can't give you wrong because that, that's something I think almost everybody would uh, like to do more or less yeah because IT you get all over the world so yep okay Boom. so like how's business on Tim Martin now? <laughs> no, this is the second no, time no, no, I've been sitting yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> there quiet the whole time we'll get you, yeah. I just have a question for Ryan tell me we'll get you, we'll get you. I just want you to tell us more about Elopi. So, um, um, I know you're ready to roast the name. Now, so no, I just have this whole thing. Spelling. What is it? What is it for some So, yeah. I used to um, have these like basic websites. They, they, they call them CRUD applications. It, CRUD mm-hmm. means create, read, update, and delete. Okay. Where you basically have content. So, let me say you're um, an e commerce business, right? Mm-hmm. So, you have products. And you have sales and orders. Oh, yeah, sales are the same thing. You have orders. You have um, different parts of your website that you want to display, right? Mm-hmm. And they are really easy to think of and design and create and implement, but they take way too much time. So things that, like, it, it usually took a month before I can have an application like that. So I found a way to um, kind of streamline that process to make it so that things that used to take me four weeks now take me like four hours. Oh, wow. So <clears throat> what it is is that I basically write very minimal code to spin up entire systems, whether it be an e-commerce system, whether it be a blog site, mm. whether it be content for like a mobile app, and then be make it easy to integrate with other systems. So I, I don't know if you because you guys do events and stuff. So I don't know if you guys know like Eventbrite or mm, or Ticketmaster or something yeah. like this, mm. and be able to integrate with these systems really easily with okay. minimal effort. Mm. So that's my mm. that's that's Elipay. Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. Me, I got completely grasp grasp what I just heard. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From my understanding, basically you created like something that. Like you say, it's shorthand. It's something that is more automated version that has like particular types of programs that like might be frequently used in different places. No, like not not say. even. So is okay. Let me say you have um, let me say a, a, a article site, right? You mm-hmm. just do articles. You do, you're a content writer. 
Like, what would be different between well, that and something like you said, a WordPress? Because to me, that's kind of what it so, sounds like. That's the, or I forget the name. Can't, but content there's management those, system. I don't know. Not, not that. Not, not that. I mean, there was one in particular that I was thinking of. That was Joomla? Like, Ju- Drupal or something? Yeah. There's one that has to do with social media and it's uh, any then, but. Okay. Yeah. So the difference is that once you use like something like a WordPress, or a Joomla, or whatever content management system you choose, mm. you are already kind of vendor locked in. So if you use WordPress, you're only limited to what other WordPress developers put online mm. for you to implement in your site. So you have like templates that you could choose up. Mm-hmm. And for me is that I have to usually make really custom solutions. So like, let's say you have like a business, you have a weird business model, and I need to be able to cater to that without really taking away from your business model, Right. So let's say you have a special way you just do sales or you have a special way you just do um, coupon codes. It's not the same as other people or whatever. And they're usually very similar, my different projects, but they always have something like, oh, I wish I could have a WordPress plugin that do that. Or I wish. And then when I choose WordPress, it's like I'm locked into that whole infrastructure that I don't like, first of all. And it's really hard to, and you always get stuff that's broken. So I just wanted a way that I can spin up these back-end systems mm-hmm. just like that. And I just define it myself with very little code, and it just spins up for me just like that, and I don't have to do no extra stuff. And if I want to do extra stuff, you can still change it. I can still change So basically, Elopi is like a way to like customize the templates from like... Not even the, you customize all the functionalities. All the functionalities. Okay. So it, yeah, you could change the whole front end from like a website to an app if you want to. Mm. All right. Or you could and word with WordPress you can't do that. Or you could let me say using a special type of database or you want I don't know a lot of things mm. you want go to the cloud you want you could do it with Elopi and mm. it kind of supports you instead of hinders you. Okay. So, interesting. Very interesting, honestly. So now How long it, was this operational? So, um, yeah, there's a whole thing behind it where I, I've been working on it since last year, this time. Mm. And it first started off as a project where I needed, like, a client wanted, like, this super back-end system that could have done anything. So it's like, okay, how do I make something generic that could fit into all his different businesses? Because he had a lot of different ones. So I started thinking of something. It's like, oh, wait, I could do that. And then I, started, I slowly started figuring it out. And as the requirements poured in, I added more stuff to mm-hmm. it. So it was really a side project for me all along. Mm-hmm. Whereas I was taking in these projects from businesses. And as they had more requirements, more features went into Elipi. More generic features went to Elipi. So mm-hmm. I, it wasn't something that I really focused on building, you know. It was always like kind of in the back of my mind. And then what happened was that it was like a private project that I owned. Um, and I was like, wait, this is really powerful shit. Hmm. So I went and approached um, one of my favorite professors about it. He's like, and he's like a guy, he have like a PhD in software science, mm-hmm. big researcher. Hmm. And he was like, yo, I really like this idea. And he got me in a room with another teacher and they just started promoting it and then talking to businesses about it. And then like at a certain point, a bunch of my own teachers know that I was doing it. It was like, oh, mm. it looks like something like this was necessary for other people to, to use as well, other developers to use as well. Mm. So you can say that's something you legit come up with. Yeah. So what do you plan to do? You plan on selling it? You just plan on using no, it? No, so... Yeah, that, a lot of people ask me that question. Yeah, what, 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 what good? <laughs> so, um, the thing is, it pays for itself for okay. me in terms of... And make your job easier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, for instance, I just, my, my hourly rate is now, before it was nine, now it's pretty high. And I can still charge because they still get the same quality thing at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And it saves literally thousands and thousands and thousands of euros for me. And I don't really care if other people use it. So let's say Rashid is a programmer as well. I don't really care if he uses it because, yeah, get your money too. Okay. So I, I open sourced it. I understand that mm-hmm. and I respect that, but big man, copyright your shit. <laughs> no, it is copyrighted. So um, okay. is, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a balanced copyright as in you can use it, whether it be for per commercial use or whatever, but you can never claim it's yours. 
So what happens is that the more developers use the, the, the stuff, the more my name gets big. It's like, okay, who made this thing? Mm-hmm. And, and then you get um, mm-hmm. situations where okay. I, it sells, it's like self-promotion almost. Okay. But then you... I guess I look too greedy. Maybe, maybe <laughs> that. <laughs> For instance, exactly I, if I were to sell, that. if I were to sell According it to, to like a big business in like the Netherlands, who gonna trust like you know a random ass um kid from the Caribbean but presenting it, it this? Don't, thing? It don't matter once you once they, once you could prove and show that the systems work. They don't give a damn where you're from. Yeah, but the thing is, a lot of it has to do with um trust in IT world. It's like okay. a lot of people okay. they choose a certain technology because they trust it. Okay, or and choose a certain person because they 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 the integrity the, the person, of the person. The person doesn't matter. The person if they no? tr- because software is one of the most broken shit ever. How you mean? Like you mean software that? barely works. Okay, ex- expound on that. Well, so, um, <laughs> the minute you ever try to program something, you understand. <laughs> you gotta really you understand. understand. So, on average, in a thousand lines of code of mm-hmm. programming, there are fifty bugs. Okay, I mean. That could kind of make sense. So, so they want the support of like a co- like like let we say like I was a big company and I made this LPI thing. They want the support of a company, not somebody that could just drop there mm-hmm. tomorrow and then uh, let we say something is buggy, it don't work. Who we do, who do we go to now? If okay. Only he know how to. Um, sorry, that I messed with him. <laughs> <laughs> only he know how to you know fix mm-hmm. or make better or whatever. So it's a, it's a lot to do with that. It's a, it's a really weird industry, I think. Do you ever see yourself like changing that copyright to actually make money off of it? So I, I already do make money off of it. So because Elipi supports me in making platforms, mm-hmm. I use the Elipi to make um, something I call Elipi Portfolio. So I just have a lot of like graduation assignment students mm-hmm. and they want to make themselves stand out from the rest of the people with the basic CVs mm-hmm. and they just want websites. Hmm. Like, let me make my CV in a website wow. or in a portfolio, I, I, in a custom I, experience. I, I, explain, that, explain that concept. I ain't, I ain't getting it. So, you know how a CV usually has, like, your portfolio, who you are, mm-hmm. or what type of person you'd be, and... Just put it online. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you just put it on just, a website. But, okay, what's the point? I don't, I don't understand what you're So, I have, I have a site, like, ryansusanna.com, mm. made with uh, LFI portfolio. It's just me, all my projects, my experience, and okay. links to my different social media or whatever or where I just write my articles and yeah that's just what kind okay. of what they want and I had a couple of students already like approach me like yeah I want a website but I know these things that cost a lot of money for you to do so I made a way that I use Elipi to make a platform to make a platform so you want okay. some inception shit that's what you're trying okay. to say <laughs> so I use Elipi and um, for them to be able to spin up like website builders focused mm. on their portfolio so where they could build their projects and like um, I think seven people using it now for like 15 euros a month mm. so okay. that's okay, what Elipi yeah. helps with then I of course that stay private because I don't mm. want people to take that yeah but that's that's kind of how it works I think I remember okay. Elon Musk had open source the um yeah, technology from Tesla and stuff to allow other car companies so that they could actually get into yeah. the game with the exactly. electric car shit as well. So I mean, it's not something unheard of. The no, way open going sourcing about is it. is a big thing actually. Yeah, like a lot of um, I know okay, a lot of people just run Windows on Mac, hmm. but in the IT we have like a, our all of our server or most of our servers are like Linux, Linux? servers. Nonsense, and <laughs> they completely open source. Hmm. You could work like you could pick up your. Ubuntu computer and, and all the other edited versions of Linux that exist out there and the yeah they, they, they call it distributions mm. where people just write different versions of the mm. same shit and yeah they, they're all open source I mean they're free I, I, I honestly guess. like I, I got a lot of respect for both of y'all in the IT world because IT was the first study I did uh-huh. that's why I have some understanding of all of what going on that's why like <laughs> I understand how hey, terrible programming is in y- terms of like once nobody like put a giant EMP in the world y'all gonna take over Anybody <laughs> doing IT or anybody in that field that's the future of everything getting digit- digitalized and, and so I- that's true what you're saying but what really going to take over the future is um, creative people. For instance, I mean, that's the only thing that robots can do. Yeah, computers like, really people, like, suck. Doing this, yeah. the link mm-hmm. up stuff, this this type of work, it's the only thing that robots can do. 
because it's by nature imperfect and all these things, robots don't make mistakes. Like yeah. personality, that's what a would very be a difficult perfect, thing. Well, yeah, what would be a perfect podcast? Who knows? But, hey, would it not be subjective as well? Yeah, though? that's exactly, subjective. and yeah. that's all the stuff that robots can do. Yeah, so ro- computers really suck. As of now, before all this quantum computing shit, they really suck at answering ambiguous questions. Mm, so yeah. questions is kind of like, it's not black or white, it's kind of like, great. what's the meaning of life and all that kind of crap? Yeah. So without that, a computer can never really get creative. Mm. Because it's like an opinion is always like, for instance, even our whole political scale is, is left, right, but you got a whole lot of in between. No, that's true. And I'm curious about something. You familiar with the universal basic income stuff? Um, yeah, so I really, I really was looking into Andrew Yang, hmm. and I really like it. Hey, hey, how much you bring us up to speed for those who don't know? <laughs> well, basically, Andrew Yang is a um, Chinese, I believe he's from China, China or Korea, but yeah, he's, he's uh, an American think, person, yeah. but I think he's a, he's an Asian American in any case, and he's running for president on the, uh, for, with the Democrats and stuff, mm-hmm. and one of the main policies or uh, things that he's running on for his campaign is universal basic income, which is basically like... Everybody gets free money. Yeah, like thousand, thousand up, dollars a month. Yeah, you just get it for being an American. Yeah, just for existing, okay. and that's kind of their idea to. In the, they, they see it as like in a world, automation is becoming ever more prevalent. It's something that you can't avoid. There's a lot of talk of I don't know the exact numbers, but a whole lot of like truck driving jobs. There's like it. It takes up a large portion of the American economy. How many truck drivers there are, mm-hmm. and with self driving cars and stuff like that, that's Ooh, one of the yeah, that aspects that if because and it's not like a good job. It's not something that most people want to do in the sense that hours they just be driving and stuff like that. So it would be one of the first and most likely places where you might see automation come in. And when you have all these people displaced through automation in that kind of area. And I mean, that's just one specific industry. That is not to say what's going to happen widespread. Yeah, because even taxi in drivers and Ubers and stuff, potentially those. Will, and that's just looking at cars. That's just yeah. looking at that type of Because even in programming, there's already stuff being automated. What do you mean? For instance. I mean, what you were just saying sounds like. Yeah, yeah that's a- basically automated. automation. You can like, they have like websites you, you could go programs. on Squarespace or GoDaddy hmm. and you could make yeah, Square, Sp- is Squarespace is actually a good um, so um, I used it to make the um, makes it Martin great again dot com site hmm. oh that's you yeah I made it dope and yeah how that went about was just I um, okay we could, we could get into that now a little <laughs> but but so, so um, back when the, the hurricane happened mm-hmm. like I was in my class. I was just like, yeah, they're going to just get a little breeze, man. You know? Because I never experienced a Lois. Uh, I never experienced... Uh, I, I had a hurricane that knocked down a couple trees. This was are you Lois. Well, are you generation Lois? It was oh, yeah. more powerful than Yeah, Lewis. it was. It was. But so, I mean, like, the, the whole after effect. Now, yeah. like, anyway, continue. So, um, as soon as I was in class, when I finally started to see the videos and stuff like this, I checking like, bye. I got to do something, man. Cause I ain't gonna hear. I know. I feel like I ain't gonna hear from my mother in like hmm. weeks. Mm-hmm. And so what happened was a bunch of people started ringing my line from like, "Yo, what your network looking like? Okay, let, let we do this and this and this and this." And this and that. So like, I know a couple of people here and there, and I know my cousin started um collecting donations and stuff like this. Mm-hmm. And I know a couple other people is doing the same thing, and I know somebody that has run the boats going down to Martin say. So it's like, okay, cool. Like we do something, so we linked up with um another group of people that was kind of doing the same thing, and another group of people that's kind of doing the same thing. So I ended up going down um Rotterdam just to help out, just to like lift boxes and stuff like this. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, yeah, we need to make this big because we're going to be on TV because we was like on all the big TV stations and mm-hmm. like I was on TV for um like I had, I had an interview in on on Boop Helderland. Okay, you're gonna pretend like I know what that is. Yeah, yeah, right. that's down my sides. Okay. And <laughs> like it just become and then like had a they had a website or something. It's like yeah, we need a website, but we need something for cheap because we don't have like money because we don't take in money. So like, yeah, buy a program, I could do that. Then I just made the website for them, and then yeah, that's kind of how it happened. That's dope though. It's like in one day it was up because with Squarespace it was really uh-huh. just dragging. Yeah, no, up. I just asked because with I don't, I don't listen to a good bit of podcasts as well, and mm-hmm. I just always hear Squarespace in as well. You listen to the brilliant idiots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> there's brilliant, a lot of places that are brilliant. You know, space, brilliant idiots, and um, another one I listen to faithfully, mysterious universe. Always Squarespace. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. For, but that, that, one, that one is more like um conspiracy theories, aliens, UFOs, Bigfoot. Yeah, I ain't gonna listen to it either. But yo, <laughs> look, 
great, no great. <laughs> it's some interesting shit. Now. But the thing is, why I like it is because the man did actually go through and do the research about it. Mm. So like all the possibilities, so they, don't, they don't necessarily say yeah, it is true. They're like, yo, this is a weird story. This is what, okay, this is the facts and things like that. But going back to the actual programming, because I find we should kind of, I guess as my my generation, as in like me and King and Woods and A, should be kind of trying to steer are you or the younger what not are you, but like people in general more to like IT and stuff like that. So I find at least. I want I want to talk about that here on the podcast. I feel like how just black people set up, not even a Caribbean specific thing. Mm. All of our role models are sport athletes. Yes, Jared. All yes, of them or, are or rappers. rappers or and like entertaining all, like in all some my type. personal re- um, role models are entrepreneur rappers. Yep. And we don't have an Elon Musk. We don't have um, a Bill Gates. We don't have a uh, Edgar Dijkstra that's a big program, something big in the okay, program. Okay, glad you fill in that gap. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm glad glad you feel it that way. Everybody watching appreciates it. (laughs) But you're right. Yeah, absolutely. But as I was saying too, I feel like we should be pushing the generation more towards that because I think of people idolizing people like yeah, I'm sorry to bring it. it up again, but people like Nancy Hustle who will just end up dying. Uh, come on, you can't do Love. that here, man. I, 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 I sorry, dog. Okay, I'm ready, ready for this. I'm ready for this. Wait, wait, before we get stop. in, that, I, I come in, I come in back to that. Um, so that's why I doing what. That's why I doing all this because I went on radio on Simano as well. Yeah, that's why I doing, Yeah, yeah, I catch the interview. And that's why I doing it because I trying to be kind of like at least. I don't see myself as like the greatest program or anything like that, but just trying to encourage other people that they can do it too. It's like so black people in comparison to their population are the lowest, like people going into STEM industries. STEM is science, tech, that's engineering. Exactly and why a person like Nipsey Hussle was. That's needed. exactly why Who someone's like Nipsey Hussle like is my Victor role 90, model. Which was a co-working space to do exactly what you're talking about, Kana. Okay, so say something now, Kana. So now my point is, okay, cool, no problem. Okay. He already started it and whatnot. Can you not say his background or the shit that he did previously, regardless of what it was, or gang affiliated and whatnot? Do, do you not say that kind of led towards his demise, or are we still going with that, the government killing? No, okay, so that's, that's, it's a bit Let's of, be real about it. So it's a, and so it's a bit of a... I need to say anything, because you don't know nothing. So it's a, it, the thing is, it's like, I don't feel like he deserved to die. How you saying it is like, you know, he should have expected it, and stuff no, like this. No, 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 okay, no. Cool. No, don't them. get me don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm explaining myself properly. Okay, cool. My thing is the rappers and the entertain the rappers specifically. A lot of them, especially in the states, mm-hmm. they coming up on the whole gang. Not listen, I say gang, but let's say the more poverty wise, mm-hmm. where shit is a little bit more difficult. They, 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 that's what they rapping about. That's what they are doing. Cool. Yeah. They come out of that space. They they change themselves. They reformed. Whatever the case is, mm-hmm. bam. Their life goes still like shit. They still catch up to you in type of way. So you, some no, regardless if it's warranted or not, whether they deserve it or not, my shit is why are we idolizing them instead of the the regular partner who don't have no who ain't trying to shoot nobody, who never shot nobody, who never had no kind of negative impact with that is concerned in the community. Okay. Why are we not bigging up this person so to your point, instead of instead of somebody so like Nipsey point, also. So to your point, like, because I, I, I just big up the black tech people. I had a whole, like, for Black oh, yeah. History Month and Women Month, I was just mm. posting up a bunch of black women in tech and stuff like that. So okay. I can't relate to that. But if you look at somebody like Asata a Shakur, is a big mm. historical figure. Mm-hmm. You look at something, somebody like a Malcolm X, mm-hmm. who was in this shit, but he came out a big... I don't really think your past should affect how people see you now. It should. I did my... I, I guess I still not bring it across properly because I'm not saying that you shouldn't look up to these people mm-hmm. or they or they have or they they have no right to change the the ways or their life or whatever or they're not influential. Mm-hmm. My thing is why we keep bigging up these same type specific type of people when they have a Nipsey hustle in your neighborhood, dog. There's a Nipsey Hustle in there's a, in everybody's situation. There's somebody like Nipsey Hustle but, trying to do the same shit, but nobody showing them love or oh, nobody like supporting them. Um, so the thing is, I don't necessarily, cause I've been a Nipsey fan for years. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily think Nipsey Hussle was a rapper first. 
Okay, explain yourself. I think Nip- Nipsey Hussle, even in all his um, so you're his he, he was more like an activist first, and then yeah, he's he's he... more of a, like a catalyst or an entrepreneur first. Okay, he was he's bigger on the things that he do in business mm-hmm. than he is in rap. Even though you you hear in the song like the fuck Donald Trump song and stuff like this, I feel like he got more props behind the scenes than he got as a rapper for sure. Because this is this is it, his it first. It looks his, so. It looks so. Because who I, gets buried in the Staples Center for having an album that never hit no, number nobody one? Nobody else other than Michael Jackson. Exactly. According to what, what I heard. but he had a number one album. <laughs> Nipsey never but, had a number. One but my album. thing is again, I guess I just bring it up. Nick, I'm not trying to single out Nipsey Hussle specifically. Okay, cool. It's just because he's one of the figures that I've been doing that, I, that I've had been heard and the story yeah. that he'd be giving back a lot and all of that kind of shit and then he gets shot. Mm-hmm. I'm not, again, I'm not um, singling him out specifically. I mean, oh, all f- all figures of his, everybody in that industry, in that business, in that type of stature. So I think is um, a mentality thing then, to your point. Whereas the only thing we get encouraged to do for instance, I'm tall, right? I'm like 6'5". Yeah, you big no fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and so we'll the only thing I've then. heard... Yeah. Basketball. Basketball. Oh, what team you playing for? Yeah. I, I fucking suck at basketball. <laughs> That's rough. That's really rough. But why is that? Same okay, thing, I know that. I know, thing, I know this is, same thing with me too, dog. And the thing is, black people tend to focus more on, you know, rap or go to the league. And then, let's say, if you fail at the league, you at least get a scholarship to study, but it is never do the study. <laughs> But yeah, they got they they got those out there like two chains who who you know did I mean went back to school I and mean, a whole a bunch of them went back to school and get their degrees and all that kind of but stuff. That does, but that doesn't get promoted. No. That's the shit. Yeah. That yeah, is, right. wait, a lot of people know two chains. A lot of people don't know two chains. Got what, a master's I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Psychology major. Got to be a bachelor's in psychology. Or oh, a bachelor's in psychology. One of them. One of them rappers got a master's in some in some shit. Mm-hmm. But it, like oh, that. That's Swiss not the stuff that does. What? I know Swiss recently went back to school and finished his business thing that he was doing um, at Harvard. Thing too, I mean, I, I don't know if we would consider him a rapper, but Nick um, Cannon. Nick Cannon. Cannon, <laughs> Cannon. <laughs> Nick Cannon. I, know, oh, I, God. I mean, that could be debated. Respect, he more of a drummer. Respect everything. But. <laughs> Listen, the man had jiggle on that. Put some respect. Put some respect. Man, that's why I say. That's what I say. You can't put. No, 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 no. You can't put. You can't put. You can't, you can't, put, put, you can't cool, put respect on a bad name for jiggle when it is with R. Kelly and look at the premise of the song. Right, no, cool. you can't. You can't what do that. Saying, that's a bad example. Right, so you got to put respect on the kind of name in modern times. Because to me, the man doing a lot of admirable shit. Admirable yeah, shit. A lot of. A lot of. That's the thing. That why I really like. I see. I see. Because we always keep in mind black people. Are at a 250 year disadvantage when it comes to the to the at least from the second industry mm-hmm. revolution. We had a very big disadvantage. So all the shit we going through now, I think it's slowly getting better than how how like like the white man going. For instance, like when um Jay Z started doing his shit and when Diddy started doing his shit, mm. I I really saw more people trying to do that. Back, back, then, like my, my, in comparison to like what my grandparents was doing. I feel mm. like there's a slip shift, but it's not happening really fast enough. By I, I see I by yeah, like I don't the, I don't know my my thing is I just would wish people would stop bigging up and looking so closely at the entertainers. Well, I then, mean, they then got, you they should got, then you should start looking at the people that the people vote for. I mean. We put, for instance, Tim Martin is at an advantage when you come to tech. In comparison... <laughs> oh, oh, you got to explain yourself with that In one. comparison to Harlan. Because, Why? Because... Oh, oh, you really got to explain yourself with that one. Not when I say... I, I'm talking about out of school. For instance, we get our exams from Curacao, the, the, the Dutch exams. We are... They don't do Informatica or ICT exams mm-hmm. here in the Netherlands. We just do it. So the stuff I had in my first year... I kind of knew already. Like, oh, oh I get this in school. Okay, okay. But what happens on an island like Simatin is that because the culture is so hip-hop focused or so Western focused and so basketball fo- focused and so baseball fo- focused, you don't see kids wanting to do that. And they damn well can. Now you've seen it more and more. But... But the, you just don't see it, and it's not no money going into it. We have all these like art saves lives, and we have all these island hoops things. But where is I see now? Um, shout out, uh, plug uh, Melissa Gums. 
she started this for the win thing where she teaching kids how to program game programming in school okay. from, from a really young age. But we wasn't seeing that. We just wasn't getting no money invested into stuff like that. When is the most profitable industry? Engine, like... I, I, I completely agree. <laughs> I, com- I completely agree with you. And now, that's actually one of my next questions would be, how, what would be your recommendation for somebody who's seen this episode and be like, yeah, I want to start doing this? Um, You just start, kind of. Okay. A little bit <laughs> something a little less vague. Okay, so... um. <laughs> For instance, how I started to was me, I used the real answer though. Like, <laughs> for anything, you know, yeah, but okay, just, okay. just to like, say how you Google it real quick. Okay, so yeah. how I started was I. The thing is, you need to like what you do. Okay. So I started where um, for me when I was in high school is either I was gonna do something like audio engineering or I was gonna do programming. Why? Because I was a really terrible gamer, but I like to game, <laughs> right? <laughs> I so, feel you on that one too. So, you know, I feel you on that one. So back in the day, I get because I got my computer the latest. I had to buy my own Xbox. I mean, I had a PlayStation when I was really young, okay. but I had to buy. You, you a Xbox fan? Listen, the reason I do that is because people like you. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you was good. I mean, I had such a high esteem of you. Now you tell me when play. I don't play game no more. I don't play game no more. I mean, I wouldn't either of you. It was running on a Xbox. Yeah, I mean. What happened to you, man? <laughs> You want me going to buy yeah. get my Xbox and slap you with it now? Hey, hey, man, I just want to slap you out the window, but I don't have this shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You, you let me do this, you know respect. better. Nah, he, he like, he like, he like the. No nah, hang on, me. I see. I wanted to make like a LGBT type slur. You see, you almost got me into it. <laughs> Much. I have a lot of gay friends that I. Yo, I ha- I have gay family that I love to death. That ain't gonna nah, stop I me calling it the fuck back. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not. It's really not. <laughs> yeah. But um so I had a, I got my computer really late. Mm. Um and my friends back in the day like, it was a little bit of a nerdy group, you could call it, but they used to play RuneScape. I know if you are yeah, 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 about this. Yeah, so it. I was never I was never that much of a nerd. I, 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 I see you hear about it, never, yeah, exactly. Never, to me that was too far. That and like exactly. Warcraft and then what You I was, see, I think the first step there. is like developing a gen a general interest in the thing. Yeah. Before like so don't you, do it just you because wonder it pays. about starting yeah. up. But you see yeah. that again, see that that would, that would be my, my motivation. Because yeah. like, <laughs> like once you're actually interested in something, like you're gonna find a way to figure out how to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, if so, you're really so, interested. Yeah. So what happened with me is I was gaming and I was so behind and so sucked at the game that I was just looking for cheats. Because I took it like, all oh, my boys you just passed me. That's my motivation. <laughs> and I was just Christ. like, oh, how am I going to get better at the game? So I just look at like things where they just play the game for you, just automate the game for you. They call it bots. My God. And use, I was, a, go- use a Gordo self. <laughs> Who the fuck is nah, Gordo? Nah, nah, I want to hold me. Yeah, like, my, by Emron, you should know him. I know like, this dude, no? the big dude. <laughs> This man is the ultimate gamer. Like, but, that's the only yo, thing. Yo, shout out, game. shout out, Gordo. He's the ultimate gamer. I have, there's not one game I have ever picked up that he and not play. and not see this man cut ass. Yeah, and, <laughs> not, and, not and one, that's dead the serious. Thing, like, it's, it's, multiple, it's not just one game he got at this. Like, it's just everything. Man, and he plays a lot of different yeah. games too and just gets real good at all of that. Like, yo, what I mean, like, dude, good, I mean, like, this. you ever see them them videos or them man put up on YouTube how, the, like, some of the top gamers in the world to be thinking about? Like, this man comp- could come, comp- eh. I ain't gonna pick him up that much. He almost <laughs> there though. Like he would, he wouldn't beat these Only man, good. but he would give these man a run for their money. That me good. No, no, that was pretty much what. Yeah, <clears> but <throat> eh, anyway, you was you was saying how you how you start getting yeah, it's like, Nah, yeah, it was really interesting. You <laughs> was terrible. At games. <laughs> but um, so you was terrible at games. Yeah, yeah, I was terrible. Yeah. And then um, what happened was I just look at these bots. So I started using them, and then my account was getting better. All my friends were like, "Yo, how you get so fast so quick?" Because overnight my computer was running, and he was chopping the wood while I was sleeping. G. So um, then, like, my to life get to piss me off. <laughs> yep. So um, I get I I get listen, to a point. Listen, don't hear because you didn't think of the idea. Come on. <laughs> no, you ain't nothing. You taking you, you cheating. Yeah, you cheating. You cheating. Oh, all my hard work. I, 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 I put in weeks. I put in weeks into this game. Yeah, you just over okay. that. Nah, nah. But I mean, work, work smarter, tears. not harder. I mean, like. <laughs> So the man just figured out how to win creatively, dog. Creatively. So I got good. Well, I didn't really. I was still terrible at the game, <laughs> but but like as you progress, like the better like bots or scripts they used to call them, mm-hmm. they used to start costing money. And I'm a person. I don't have a. I'm like 13, 14, 12, 13, 14 at the time. 
ain't got credit card. I know damn well for sure my mother wasn't hey, gonna yeah. invest in that <laughs> shit. Cause, cause my mother was already suspicious because I was done doing Wait, so terrible. You spending money on a game? You want me like the game is in? No, the game, game free. The game free. I know, I know, yeah. I know. Well, I mean, does the concept? Yeah. If you have to go to other, be like, yeah, I want money for a script. Yeah, so you no, spend money exactly. For this game, like, exactly. Like, yeah. And so I was like, okay, cool. There must be a way that I could do this myself. Mm-hmm. So then I started looking at, okay, how do I make a little script there? So I had like a basic one. I was really terrible at it, but I was programming. And just because I was so interested in having this bot play the game for me, I just got (laughs) better at it. And after a while, I started releasing my scripts because I got, I wouldn't say good, but decent at script writing. Mm -hmm. I start releasing it and then people started using it as well. So I reached to a point where I had like maybe 7,000 monthly users. Damn. Hmm. And I wasn't getting paid for it. And it reached the point where they say, yo, you need to put this on the paid market. Otherwise, you're competing with like a paid script. Mm-hmm. And she's so like, okay, cool. How do I get the money? You say, yeah, you either get 40% this and this and that. But you need your bank information. Oh, that's where you're into problems. So I think like, oh, fuck. Okay, cool. Y'all just hold it. I just want to continue scripting. Because at that point, I didn't even care for the game anymore. I was just so happy with seeing people using my shit. And like hmm. seeing how and you know optimizing it so that I chop the wood a little bit faster or hmm. move to the different spots a little bit fast. I was so into that that I didn't care about the money I would have potentially received. So I just said, you know what? Leave somebody else take it. So I had them send the money to um a school where they had um lack computers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Send it to the school. So you just send it there, and I got the emails and stuff like that. And I was like at maybe fourteen at the time. Yo, that's that's crazy. Man. Yeah, and, and keep in mind, and it was like it was it's a tough period because the internet culture is is toxic, dog. So you like on these forums with people just trolling you, and I used to just be, I I, I back when I was young, I had like a self esteem issue, mm-hmm. just about the, like the color of my skin. I was like I was like fifteen kilos heavier than this and mm-hmm. stuff like this. Oh, we could get into that. That was interesting. So. And I used to just, like, I had put up a picture of myself. And imagine you 14, you put up a picture, you're embarrassing. Like, I, I don't even want to show that picture now. <laughs> we, all, we all have to go through it, dog. It's okay. People showing racial slurs, how this monkey could program, and stuff like that. So it always... What? So how how you deal with no, that? That's what so Because it was more of, like, a chip on my shoulder. Like, okay, cool, fuck you. I'm going to program the shit out of this bot now. Okay, so you, okay. Use that, you use that as motivation. Yeah. And, it's, 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 and it transferred over into the real world as well. Because even here, you get, like, your, your, your occasional teacher that says some fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. Or I remember back when um, I just did the, the hurricane stuff, the makes a Martin Great Again stuff. Mm-hmm. And a teacher, I didn't have his class, because class just started. It was, like, September period. I didn't have his class as yet, and I, and I did fairly okay at school. He was like, yeah, I expected him to, like, leave or drop out or whatever. And then my classmates, who know that I was, like, a pretty decent um, programmer who's like starting to cuss him off because he was just saying shit just because how I look because mm. keep in mind I in a cluster with 600 students and there's only two black kids <sighs> so yeah. you always get shit like that but it, to yeah, me it was like a chip it, on my shoulder you got it bad too like you in in RM name making like oh, oh yeah, yeah. there's a little more remote kind of in Amsterdam my first year I did IT there was at least some other black kids while Dude, I was doing it like I, I was the only one in my class I was the only one but I Outside never the class, been I could see like in a, three other people. And I never been in a class with a black person until a couple months ago. <laughs> I never been in a class with a girl till last week. Yeah, that was a serious <laughs> thing at the IT schools. Like so there was what, literally like three girls. What do you think? Nice. What do you think it is that women don't seem to be encoded as so much? You think I, it's not an in, is an interest something or? Mm, yes, I just had a whole thing on my Facebook where I was trying to encourage black girls to pick up code. Okay. Where um, I, I just asked the question, 80% of all engineers, not just programmers, are men. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why? So I was looking for like um, people to react. They actually, I, I had a study about that, and it's actually because girls are not as... They're not encouraged to do those types yeah. of jobs from small. Be- so they kind of... And as the study actually showed that we pretty much have equal if not more of a capacity to do exactly. it exactly that's why however kinda... is like the encouragement behind of it like if you if growing up like somebody tell you like you 
your, your own guys and they're telling guys to do this mm. and then they're telling you oh maybe you should go this way yeah, be a nurse yeah a and then that's what you grew up hearing is like okay you know maybe it's not for me maybe that's it's too hard because something like coding I from hope the conversation I got her here now is is really a creative something you could be doing. With yeah, it. yeah. Who's more and who's more creative than women? Part, that's one of the most fascinating parts about code to me. Is like, yeah, a lot of a lot it's of like, people. Yo, coding it's, is art. It's one of those. It's things all like, it's, yeah. it's literally like yeah. <laughs> okay, this problem. is what we. This is the I mean, goal okay, we're trying I'm a to get. Knowledge here and, there, but. and there's a million ways to get to that goal. Basically, yeah. Like, yeah. There's, it's there's no limits more or less just your creativity on what type of code. What gonna be the ways that you create to yep. solve this so problem? I, so I just do improv music, right? So I just play Wait, a lot of a like I just improvised music. Im- improvised music. So what, like, like music jazz style? music. Mm. I would just like make chord progressions on the spot okay. and stuff like this. And when I and that's a really creative process just to think a shit on the spot. Mm-hmm. But programming is still the most creative thing I do today. I don't have a creative bone in my body, so I have <laughs> all respect to you, but all respect to you. And that's why and that's why it's so profitable because people just can't be do it. I mean, everybody could learn how to do finance, whether you be really horrible with whiskunda or something. Really if you true. practice long enough, you could do a whiskunda. But you can't say the same thing about coding? Yeah. The thing is, with coding, you could only reach, a, so you cannot be a, a very, like, you can have a very basic job as a programmer, as a web developer, as a, as stuff like this, but you can never be something much bigger than that if you don't like turn your creativity on Mm -hmm. because otherwise you just end up average yeah because you have to find like like, different avenues to reach a like the solution you know like maybe like like how you develop true for everything yeah that's in true. the sense that yeah that does as well. not everybody is Kendrick Kendrick is Kendrick and there's a million other people who just make the songs that we hear on the radio that we gonna forget about in a year or two there's a million of those type of people who doing music is another one if you're a marketer you can be a really average one that just schedules social that media could, posts could or you could be somebody that could spark a fire like two chains and like create a, two a chains. pink trap house a what a pink trap house that made it onto the news and all kind of stuff that a man had church going on inside of this pink trap house that was in the <laughs> middle of atlanta the man had like artwork art pieces and stuff hanging up there treating that's like a all, museum type that's of thing like <laughs> and that's how you get on the news and that's you sound like you don't only have one chain <laughs> <laughs> stupid <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah but you everything you do if you're not creative at it you're never gonna be great at it so what what, what you t- okay Lewis, since I mean and majority it, wait, of us here from St. Martin uh, go through and there's a scale to it for instance you could only get so creative when it comes to doing things like finance you could only get so creative when you're yeah, doing things like actually. art you could only get so creative when you're doing things like programming there's like a different type of um I would call it a scale factor, mm. depending on the profession or the thing you go into, that your, your your creativity has an impact on your success. For instance, a doctor, if you're a doctor, you don't have you to don't be creative need, for need. shit. But, but yeah, that's debatable. See, no, yeah, that's, that's debatable. Honestly, that. in my opinion, anything problem solving in, is in, in general is a creative mm-hmm. endeavor. Anything that you're doing okay. that involves problem solving but the is a creative endeavor. creativity scale in comparison I agree yes to, a doctor that's certainly did, but to me is one of those things where it's just like you said you can have the super average doctor job if mm. you're not that creative person but if you are one of those creative persons like mm. you say okay. then you become doctor house or some shit like I know yeah. it's a fictional doctor but okay, I like, see what you mean <clears throat> You could be some dude who go end up and find the cures for this new what, or a new technique to do this and that if you are one of those people. Yeah, so so my mm. whole theory was the creativity scale mm. equates the success. If you become a doctor, you already reach a certain point where you don't have to be so creative to make a certain Not necessarily, but then what, what, what would you consider the, the doctors who find the cures for yeah. like measles and, and all them kind of things? Yeah, they have to have some kind of creativity to go above and beyond what they so actually already know. That means the, 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 the roof of a doctor is really high, but the bar for creativity is not as high. Okay. I see what you mean. Nah, I, I, follow I, you. I, agree, I agree with the general statement. Like I like to say, yeah. yes, you don't need to be creative to be a, a successful doctor and you have doctor. like a good life yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. Okay. But if you being a groundbreaking pioneer, like yeah, change the paradigm, yeah, yeah. Person, <laughs> okay. then it's yeah. But no, what was, what was one thing? Since more, all of us more or less from Smarting, yeah. how, what you think is would be the best way to encourage more people to pick up something like Cody? Is, is it, 
us who have a platform or who have a quote unquote voice trying to encourage people you find like do you think government should have also um, play a role they should probably invest more money into it and I mean, the problem. community should probably try to make it look cool for instance okay. all these like white kids mm-hmm. yeah I seen it yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Cool. all these white kids they look up they, they think somebody like Elon Musk is fucking cool mhm Meanwhile, if I ask one of my boys from DQ to, to look at you to look at Elon Musk, and you can like you turn this shit off, dog. Turn on the. You just need but to you make see, it look cool. This, this is the same shit what I was saying earlier, though. We need to stop looking up to fuck to these to entertain us. No, I, don't, I don't necessarily think so. But you know what the thing is, I, I feel find like so, boy. I feel like people, the people who look up to like these entertainers see more of themselves in those entertainers True, than a person know, like exactly. Elon Musk. So who's going to give them hope? Elon Musk or some some dude that grew up kind of like you? Because that was one... Day, I remember a long time ago, I made a post on Facebook on this particular topic. Mm-hmm. It was something along the lines of black people be looking up to Jay-Z, whereas like a dude like Larry Page got a million times the amount of money and shit like that as a Jay-Z. The people, the way Jay-Z perceived is like, yo, he the big dog, he the mm-hmm. boss, he got the money and all of this type of thing. <clears throat> But it's it, it basically the responses I got all came down to what you just said more yeah. or less. Yeah, it's like, I, I like Jay Z because he Larry looked like Page me. is not cool. Like yeah. just, we, we we don't respect, we don't but look up to, we don't I care about like what you gotta say because it does not reflect me, my but circumstances. But I feel like it also it also comes down to like if you see somebody hmm. who grew up in a similar circumstance as you, yeah, you, you feel, like feel like that's you could do the same thing. Yeah, it's attainable. It's, like, it's, it's attainable. That's the difference. Yeah, I see myself in somebody yeah. like Jay Z. Yeah. I see myself in somebody like a Nipsey. I see myself exactly. in somebody like I don't know a Kanye. Mm-hmm. But again, mm-hmm. why why them? They got thousands of other because that's the only thing because that's the only thing gets that gets shown at me. Yeah. Nobody and else I don't see no big there. black tech. And there's a lot of them. I don't see no big black tech people in the media and stuff like that. Meanwhile, I see Elon Musk everywhere I go. I just it's just what gets shown to me. That's I I see myself in these people. And like it's one of those things that it comes back to the conversation of representation. It, it's to me. It's an exactly. unde- it's an undeniable fact that representation is important. Seeing yourself, it's hard to be what you can't see if you never see it. They even have that idea to have that thought. Is like I just think back to being on Sima and simple shit like the concept of third eyes, for example. That was something that I never even heard anybody talk about on Sima mm-hmm. until I left here. It was, if it wasn't until Absol talk about this shit in some rap. Mm-hmm. that I even heard about the concept of a third eye and decided to look into that and found out all kind of shit about history from Egyptian history to Hindu history and all the things that connected to that and a whole bunch of other shit from that but same, I mean like same thing like you, um, can, you don't know what you don't know yeah. especially if you're in an environment where everybody on the same page exactly. everybody just focus on TV mm-hmm. especially like for our generation I was just talking about this with a wife the other day is like the control the kind of bubble you live in is super apparent now is a little more released because the internet is a lot more prominent but when i was a growing up it was like the sources of information is school and the tv and the environment like the people around and family that's it mm-hmm. and if everything on tv and school and these the situations where you plugged into the getting for the internet wasn't something at the time when i was in primary school really more high school it kind of came in and even then it wasn't what it is today with wikipedia and youtube these vast resources of information that you could just find out about anything and learn about anything like it wasn't what it is today so it's just like if you don't know you don't know and you can just stay in that bubble mm. and that's that's what plagued us for centuries yeah. that's why we're such at a disadvantage I, on top I, of shit like I telling guess, people it's I guess I just to see shit different then because to me I exactly and that's another thing if you want to hide something from a black man you put it in a book yeah and it's true, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> and that's just how it is. Nice. And we just need to be able to make I'm a terrible that look that. cool. But that, but you see, but that's something you choose it not to change. So where where again at this point, where do we give a self again self accountability? Where where do you take accountability for you not wanting to do that shit, dog? Nobody else stopping you from not from not going mm-hmm. or being or that, especially in this day and age. There's no way you can say. And I know more talking about. Us first world who more well off who have the, the resources for the information. There's no reason for there's no excuse to be ignorant in this day and age. There's True. no there's no reason. I disagree. No I disagree. I disagree. How do you mean? Because I just yeah, said it. I just mm-hmm. said it. 
you don't know what the fuck you don't know. Why am I just going to randomly look up a third eye? If I never heard that a third eye exactly. is even a thing, what is going to prompt me to go and type in third eye on Google? Wait, wait, what does is, what is ignorant mean, really? Lacking information. Yeah. Just lacking information? I yeah, thought it was more knowledge. of the refusal of wanting information. Of accepting new information, I yeah. believe. Some, that, might, that might be part of uh, another meaning of it, but the main one is basically just lacking information. You googling yeah. it? Yeah. Because yeah, I ignorant on the word ignorant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it'd be like that. Yeah. I, and, well, I guess that, again, that's just me. Uh, obviously, I've, I've realized in a lot of these conversations that I have, like, I'd be alone with my opinions. But I, I f- it, there's to me, there's no excuse. Um, I mean, true. I could kind of see, like, how... Because, like, you you got to be I realistic with that, like the amount of information that is provided now. Oh, it's completely contrasting, like as to what Gary was saying, because now you have like a vast, like so much information, and it could be like overwhelming at times where you don't know where to start or was real and what was fake. Like you don't know what to trust. Okay, that that yeah, but something as simple as as being more being more read. And reading more books and getting more information the yeah. old fashioned way, that's a choice. Yeah, but that's, then again, all of us could go today and pick up a book and start to read. But, but wait, then again, it, it comes down to like a lot of stuff is like, I don't know where to start. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. But just like what, what, what Ryan was saying, wait, then just start then. The, the way, the thing is, no. we are, you keep forgetting that we are in comparison to our um, white planet sharers. Mm. Our circumstance we, is different. Huh? Our circumstances different. Yeah, we Culturally. we are behind. For instance, all my white friends had computers three, four years before I could get a computer. Mm-hmm. All my white friends became addicted to the phone and tablet before I can because we I am at so that's that's the privilege really. That that's the white privilege. They have these avenues. They can get access to these things much easier in comparison to us, and that's why we struggle. Because we are at this disadvantage. But you see, okay, may- maybe maybe at my my timeline or my time frame or how I'm thinking about it is a little different. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, dog, right now, mm-hmm. there's nothing stopping you to go in and picking up a book and learning more about something, whether it's history or whether it's or being more knowledgeable knowledgeable in mm-hmm. general. There's no reason. Okay, Can now compare me partially. now to how I was when I used to live on Illidru. Okay, but I mean, nobody taking away the the, the concept of growth. Kinda, mm. you was a privileged pe- person. A lot of people mm. ain't grew up in the situations you grew up. To me, that's all I hear in this conversation. Like everybody, I did it, so everybody should be able to do it. Dog, it's so not like, not everybody yo, have the same opportunities and shit you got. Dog. But King, I talking about right now. Talking G. to me personally, I could understand. Yes, I choose not but, to read. But that again, is that's why choice. that's why I made the statement. In all of, in this that, first world, in this first, all of us who have the access in, to it is a choice. Even in this first world thing, there, that's where what he's saying comes into play. Culturally, there's a lot of things that need to be addressed before. It's not just like yeah, okay, not, they doing it, cool. we do it. There's lots of reasons why, for example, mm-hmm. the smart person is teased in a lot of black communities. Yes, it happens in white areas and white situations as well. The nerd gets teased and picked on and stuff. But there's reasons these things is, to, in my opinion, extra in the black community. Ain't nobody ever looking at uh, the dude who's sh- um, preaching knowledge and stuff like that in the black community. These things ain't ever praised, exalted, put on a pedestal. You know, it's serious when, you- when Sean take off his shades. Yeah, G. Sean <laughs> pull them up, he- True. Anyways, but continue. there's all of these things that, in my opinion, culturally play a role into why it's like, okay, I'm not, I wouldn't be into STEM, I wouldn't go into tech in these yeah. type of fields, I wouldn't want to go to the library and pick because like, I'm cool, I'm not look cool, I'm bullied, I'm mm-hmm. picked on, and all of these things. So we just show yourself again, we just show yourself accountability out the window. Okay, Kana, whatever you say. No, um, but you could only be the, the accountable to a certain extent. That's what we're trying to tell you. Like, some stuff is, is really, like, you just saying, oh, we all live in a First world country, but you're not taking so wait, 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 wait. Not in a first world country, by the way, though. Wait, no, no, it's not a first world country, but <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, wait, wait, so, okay. but, he, but what wait, he's saying wait, is, wait, wait, I think what he means is that the wait, majority wait, wait, of us have a certain wait, level of privilege, that's what wait, he's saying. Like, okay. we well, have a certain okay, wait, wait. if I, wait, if, like I if I understand him correctly, you're saying people like me, people like King, people like you, 
the people that have that are that have yeah, that. Why, I, why we are but, but I stated that the ones oh, who okay. have the access for and I'm talking about the ones who don't or who can't do it or who don't have the access to it. Period. I mean the ones yeah, who have question. the access to the information. Yeah, there's no question. reason for you not to ha- for you not to. So that's a different question. <laughs> Be part of it. In, okay, like King was saying, in my opinion, there's no excuse. Okay, in so my now, opinion. So now, okay, yeah. back to that one. So now I understand where you coming from. It's not like okay, you're not generalizing all black no, people. No, of course not. You're just saying not. the black it's, people that had it, not. why they didn't do it. If, okay, cool. So now you grew up, right? You grew up on Saint Martin. I mm. get you, you went academy, Saint Namne. No, I went private school. You see this? Yeah, you don't you start. See yeah. Where okay. The is now weird. let me look at me instead. Now. Mm-hmm. All my friend, like my friends, weren't as privileged as I was. Like my mom had a real, my mom owns a business. My dad wasn't that well off, but I had the opportunity. All the people I associated myself did not have that same opportunity. And guess what influenced you the most? Where you come from? So they don't get um, they don't have these avenues for information. The people around them don't have the avenues for information. The people around them don't have the avenues for information. So. Because they influence me as well, my 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 um percentage of getting this information already goes down slowly. Okay. Because the people I associate with myself, they don't approve of or they don't encourage I mean, that stream. But that but again, where where does this okay, maybe is it not something personal then? Because I had that same I had that same hey, 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 hey like you I'm not talking to you right now. Me, me and Ryan speak it. Cool. You had your chance. Uh, Alright. We if you let's let's give I have the same I had the same situation as one of you was discussing here. I had obviously what the king was saying, mm. I um was a little bit more privileged than the people around me. Cool. Mm. Instead of me trying to be or trying to like quote unquote be poor or, or be at the same level, most of my friends was by me using whatever I had. Mm-hmm. So what how how is being more privileged is is how you choose to use that privilege it's still accountability on yourself mm. it's still you mm. you have that choice to do it or not i could have been like yo i don't want nobody in my house using my internet and, and running game with me mm. but no i chose yeah. to be like yo now nah, yo are you are you think every uh, fellas come check me or you need help with, with a, a project or something like that yo you use my computer and that's where the growth comes in but that's a, again. So my question is, where does the self accountability come? So you mean to tell me because of shit that that happened hundreds and something years ago, that's that going to affect you that much? Yeah, I really think so. I okay, maybe that's where we're gonna have to agree to disagree. I really, I, really I, think I, I I feel that there should be a lot more self accountability where that's concerned. I I for do those, agree. For those, for those do who agree. have the opportunity, I do agree on the self accountability thing. I think we as a black unit. We lack a lot of self accountability. I do agree on that point, but I also uh, I don't agree on the point where you say that y- you comparing the disadvantage. Okay, how you mean? Like you should be able to recognize that if you live in a very if you were surrounded by I don't know if all your friends were as privileged as you was, but if you are surrounded by people that do the same thing, you should probably expect a better result. That's why people go to better neighborhoods. That's why. Um, parents try to go okay, to the no, best schools. Okay, no, I can schools. understand that. I can understand that. So that that's my thing. I th- I don't think you should disregard that as much as you do. I do agree with the self accountability, but don't disregard the fact that we live in a place where okay, may, may, where, maybe where, maybe where, I, maybe I am maybe I am not taking that into consideration consideration as much, but it's maybe because of what I see in my personal true. Personal, my my personal experience. That's why I can only say in my opinion because mm-hmm. I've seen I've seen those ones lower and had less than me and stuff like that rise further than me and be much more successful than I am. Had worse circumstances than me and end up being a lot better than I am right now. So maybe that's why I a little biased with that concern. But yeah. that that's my that's what I see for myself. Okay, okay. No, I I see I see both sides of the coin, kind of where. Some of my friends had a lot of stuff and they kind of didn't perform as well as they should. Mm-hmm. And some of my friends ain't had jack shit. I, I see the same thing. Out, so. And how do people? So, yeah. I mean, that, I guess that, that's just where I. But I, I, fall why, why I don't, the only part of your point I don't agree with is the almost complete disregard of the fact that living in a better neighborhood, you're going to get better results. Or living in a better country, you're going to get better results. <laughs> I don't want to say completely disregard it. Mm. I just I 
I guess, but yeah, may, maybe it's that. Maybe it's that. Maybe I was completely disagree. I don't know. I just feel that people, this have to be a lot more account- self accountability. Okay. That, so I, I guess I that's my. I agree with that. I agree. Yeah. I guess that's just like my, my bottom line with it. A lot of us is our own fault. We vote for the same politicians. We vote for whatever. I ain't, up, I ain't trying to pur- 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 like promote no party or anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's no, just like, it's abs- just a recurring thing. It's yeah, like a vicious circle. You're absolutely right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. But this is, yeah, we got to step up to the plate. And that's what I try to do. So when I say uh, I'm speaking here, just so maybe somebody that maybe looked at code and say, "Hey, this look pretty cool," could be able to say, "Okay, cool. Let me hit up Ryan. Let me see what he has but to say." See, about but that, but that's why he's trying to do that. Well, I guess that's that's mainly part of the reasons of the link up as well to big up other people that doing. So yeah, you know, I it appreciate just, it. It don't just have to be something with entertainment and stuff. Yeah, like because that. now you see in me here, and now now somebody, a kid. Let me say you you have like a, a younger following watches this and maybe he or she say, yo, what are you doing some fresh? <clears throat> and that's what we need to do. But Make I, it look cool. Comple- I completely agree. Yeah. I completely agree that's concerned. But, but, I, but that's the thing. So what other than just starting, because that's what someone advice they say, what, what else or what other, like people, maybe they should check out books, they should read. I think I think if we shouldn't get a little bit more information on coding. I think we shouldn't really put uh, such a big focus on coding as we sh- like what, what you propose. I think we should focus on more creative jobs. For instance, um, math. It's really creative. Um, civil engineering, architecture. We don't do any of those either. You want to elaborate on that a little bit? On what? Math in particular. How in your mind is that creative? You know how creative you have to be to, to, to solve, solve a math a equation? Yeah. I understand, but... But, it, no, what's, but no, the, what's the business yeah, no. or the job or whatever that you oh, see? Oh, that so coming? math people are the ones that create all these algorithms that we use on a daily basis as programmers. Hmm. For instance, we have a whole... Honestly, that's why it confused me a little bit when you say you're not good at math early on. And I'm yeah, like, no, I'm, I'm terrible at I math. I know that, like, the importance of math in programming like, I, I, and stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I probably am better than, like, let me say, the average, you know, high hmm. school kid at math. But in comparison to the people that I'm around, usually, I'm very horrible with math. Hmm. Like, I you need my phone to go on my calculator for everything. And math majors are the ones are accountable for like, you know, this thing with data science and machine learning mm, mm, is usually mm. mathematicians doing it. I mean, the interesting thing with regard to all of this is like the whole black hole discovery thing recently. Uh-huh. Like the program that was used to make that, like the main chick who was in all the, in all the news and mm. all the Katie Bowman thing. So the code like, in that is probably really minimal. But the math in that is probably mm-hmm. really massive and creative. I like I was watching some a, a TED talk and stuff on her explaining mm-hmm. the whole thing of how the kind of machine learning, the imagery, the way that they went about creating it, inputting the data into it, mm-hmm. and getting this image rendered and whatnot in the different ways and met different methods that they tried to come up with this thing. And mm-hmm. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. That's math. Physics majors is also are also really creative people. I also thought it was interesting how like there was a controversy around and it's kinda going on a tangent, but just that I, I ain't that big of a controversy person. I think a lot of woke people should go the fuck back to sleep. I agree. <laughs> like I completely agree. Not, I mean, not not the controversy and no conspiracy or no. But what it was basically the way that her name was on every article, like um, Katie Bowman discovers uh, Katie Bowman oh, images like, the whole ah, thing okay. of first black hole and it's okay, like no, 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 he no. was part of a team with a whole lot of other people that was working on this thing and it's like not only this chick and also there was something that came out where there was this Andrew Shale or something like that who did like 850,000 lines of code while the Katie Bowman did like 6,000 lines of code and mm-hmm. stuff looking at the GitHub in- input on inputs and stuff like that. Oh, is open source? <clears throat> I don't know, but some people on Reddit had gotten to the actual stuff and they had found out like how much lines of code he inputted, how much she did and it's like this just the media pushing the feminist agenda blah 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 that's what people were saying around this thing because oh, that, and there's a, to me is a lot of like what you just yeah, was see, what we I just see, was yeah. talking about in yeah. the sense that we're trying to encourage women in stem yeah. and that's the reason they kind of made this person the face of the whole discovery and all that i put it out there like that but 
It's funny. It's, it's funny <sighs> when that whole the feminist move. I was just about to ask, like, just to play devil's advocate. I wonder if it was like a man who posted and there was a whole bunch of women. I don't know. If if it would have been a whole big controversy, of like, yeah, they 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 looking over women again, and I don't know. Of yeah, all no. the the women I ever seen program, I think all of them were better than me. Hmm. For instance, okay, okay, maybe because I what I did was I when I went on my whole Black History month and mm. women history month thing i tried to like reach out to a lot of big w- women in tech specifically black women mm. and all of them are fucking geniuses like a lot of them worked at all five of the big companies microsoft facebook and that's, all of these things that's crazy to see and that's that all black sad mm. on my part well i guess i feel a little guilty now because i don't know nothing about them <laughs> Like, no, but would, you, would don't, you don't get promoted. That's why I posting it. So maybe you could post it too. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? Well, that that's how that's how it take. Oh, uh, wait a second. In in your opinion, though, is that like? Wouldn't you think that's kind of because they have to be though? Um, like similar to how it's often said, like as a black person, you got to be twice as good to get half as much type of thing. I feel like that effect is kind of amplified as being a black woman in a tech space where it's like... I wouldn't say you have to be twice as good. To even get noticed some, de- you to have some to, degree. You, you got to be twice as strong. Hmm. Not twice as better as a programmer. Twice as strong. Twice as open. Hmm. And twice as hardworking. Hmm. I feel. Because... It's not to say that I am like this, you know, guru programmer. But what I did is I make sure that instead of hanging out with the IT kids, I hang I hung out with the business kids in my school. Not only because of they ain't had no girls in IT, <laughs> but, <laughs> but because I really want to know how the business thing works. Hmm. So if I was just a programmer, I would have just ended up being a really average programmer working at some tech firm or something like that. But now that I see how people speak and run business and market and stuff like that, and I hang out with these people... I working twice as hard and that's how I going to become like where I am today where I can say I can just pick up a job basically at any tech place or I could do my business on the side. Hmm. Dope. So I think you got to really you don't have to be per se twice as smart you just need to be twice as open twice as hard working. Man, I was just meaning and, more specifically like regarding those women mm-hmm. like the reason that they are such geniuses is like they have to be in a way like because the, the, they're in that position because oh, okay. being a woman like I had to work and harder I, I had to do do kind of like what you talking about just now like have that kind of mentality yeah, that you okay. know there's prop yeah, yeah basically mm-hmm. there's going to be more obstacles in your way or people might doubt you or look down and you question if you could really could do some of like what yeah. you was talking about yeah. as of being a black woman in tech yeah I could only imagine how yeah I guess like, I guess it would be twice as hard as how I had it yeah yeah that's yeah. kind of my thinking yeah, I, I would have to ask one. Like, why are you getting disregarded for <laughs> your color? They getting disregard for color and, and the fact yeah, that you're, you're right. You're right. Like, because like, in <clears throat> especially in IT, just like how it is in the gaming industry, hmm. if some if you find out that a chick is if like the lobby find out that a chick is, <laughs> is is in the lobby, they either gonna throw a bunch of sexual harassment at them, <laughs> or they're going to Yo. if she miss like a quick scope or something <laughs> like that, they're gonna roast the shit out of her Yo, because that's she don't bad for real. Love. It's really toxic. I never, yeah. no, I never really take a sit out and think about that, but that's tense. So we need to mm-hmm. change our behaviors. <laughs> And the thing is, I know a lot that of girl gamers. Oh, I don't know. I don't know a lot. Yeah, what? because they don't really, they don't feel comfortable revealing it. Hmm. That kind of makes sense. They, I know a lot of them. Like for instance, my cousin, um, shout out to man. I know she does. She, she does game a lot. Hmm. My mother even does game a lot with her candy crushing. Women play a lot of video games. Okay, okay but I, I guess then we have to distinguish what kind of, what kind of okay, game so we're you talking about. Talking about more the casual gamer or more hardcore. of the hardcore gamer. Yeah, we're talking about like PS4, yeah, console gaming. I think it's more of a, a men culture. But don't be surprised by the amount of women that still does it. Hmm. For instance, I used to play, but I can't believe I'm admitting this, World of Warcraft. I doubled. I, I doubled. don't see the problem. Huh? I doubled. You know, no, yeah. yeah. I mean. And my guild leader was it was it was a guild board they call it mm-hmm. was all women. Huh. Huh, using the right one, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was so surprised. I can I, I went in the voice call thing. I hear like 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 female voices. She's like whoa. <laughs> but it's, right. it's all, but it's just like we say. It's always a shock. 
Yeah. When, whenever, especially for like we play modern warfare, all of a sudden we hear like a female voice and she actually do good. It's same like you say, it's either man showing lines without trying to figure out who she is, mm-hmm. or just roasting her a whole bunch of unnecessary sexual comments. Yo, that's sad. Yeah, it's really th- and <laughs> I see, really I see the same thing because it's the same, it's the same people, the same people hiding behind the computer. Hmm. I never, I never really think about it, but that's it's sad. really toxic. <laughs> but um, people. Huh. I want to get to one topic before we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, okay, okay. Just, there's a question. Just, just what you want to choose what, one. What you got for us, kind of? I, I know. Cause we know. got. Okay, let, let me got a list. Let me ask. We got a list. Ask, let me ask quick question. We care about the Notre Dame burning? Nah. Personally, I agree. Anybody? No, not me. My whole thing is. My whole thing is. Okay. Six hundred million went, went in that shit. Meanwhile, my home country still waiting on five fifty million from two years ago. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Yo, I didn't even think about that, dog. Yo, I didn't even think about like, no, that. No, last you test. Think, I worry about my country, then I worry about my people first. Yeah. And I know you I know you could walk and chew gum, but fuck all of that. If you could <laughs> if you could get six hundred million for a fucking You're building. Fucking right. within, Yo, yeah, within I can't day, get within within hours, day. Now, within hours. <laughs> it wasn't even like a full day pass. No. Like, well, when the first one for the hit Pinot guy or something like that, who own whichever one of these French fashion houses? Mm. Yeah. Meanwhile, they hold that the French people own half the fucking island. Right, I'm saying. I really, I triggered when it comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's triggered. triggered. Can you blame the man though? <laughs> no, but no. What I mean, I mean all that shit did though was it showed the priorities of yeah. rich. Yeah. It shows that yo, if he wanted to solve problems, we could, we could, could. do this fucking we could. ease. I mean, come on, man. A one person. And I saw things people people saying that a church itself is is worth like 30 billion like uh no the catholic church or whatever is worth 30 billion these people don't need money they're not in <laughs> like the catholic church when you look at it as an organization Yo, the amount of money that flows through this thing on a regular and this is like i, I what, seem that's why I, okay what's what do y'all know like the, the the significance of the notre dame the thing that that's what i was just gonna say like i i didn't even know all of what was housed in there apparently it have like the, a lot the, of art and stuff the like thorn this. the thorn crown of jesus self that he when he wear uh, the actual crown oh, okay. the actual mm. crown Okay. from the crucifixion mm-hmm. or a piece of the, uh, one of the nails that was in his hand okay, okay. and the crucifixion like having yeah, all of these types of things okay, that so shit is crazy like, I didn't even know these things existed serious <laughs> <laughs> like, like, back, back to his point again you don't even know yeah, but, the, <laughs> they didn't know it's real okay but like, then <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so so everybody did I just assume that the cross from the crucifixion was somewhere out there. No, I, I, I know it was really house. You say I know it was I never thought about it. I know it was exactly. somewhere. I just didn't know. I never really thought about it. No. I know it was house, but I didn't know. I didn't know where. So okay, so but like, do we care? Nah. Hey, hey, okay, no. all right, cool. Um, <laughs> Tiger Woods within the Masters. Do we care? I proud of him, but I don't watch golf. I have a similar opinion. Like, I okay, like to so see black people winning, but I mean, so I really don't care about Basically, keep a pushing. Okay, so we care because he's black. That's all. Yeah. 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 Black people. That's really right, cool. Um, okay, so this, this, is, this is something we might actually end up, end, end up on. Uh, uh-huh. This profoundly <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, that hmm. one. For those, for those of you who may not know, let me throw some context out there. If if you have social, if you've been on social media at least the past two years, if you got social media, you know. Oh, sorry, Lee, um, oh, no, you're hitting the lot. <laughs> 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 trying to help you. Trying Recently, to help you. Okay, okay, sorry, <laughs> Gary. You never give me a mic before. All right, <laughs> <laughs> you know have me out here screaming in the middle. She of don't episodes. know how to act now. G. She just <laughs> <laughs> like, Bonnie, I, let me talk. I, 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 all the other episodes, Gary was like, hey, you can shut the fuck up, please, because ain't nobody can hear you. One episode. Yeah, but I mean, it kind of common sense. If you don't have a mic, you shouldn't hey, be talking. Hey, 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 my just, business. Just, my business. Just, my business. Mind your business. Anyway, the profoundly thing, for those who don't know, um, like I was saying... Yeah, yeah, but yeah, for last me. like <laughs> last year they had this thing on Instagram like ask questions. Like, you see people to be doing stuff like that now. So uh-huh. now they have this on Facebook where this you could send anonymous, um, I guess questions. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, you send anonymous questions and then the person could choose to post it or not on Facebook. I don't, I don't understand. I don't. They didn't understand. engage, but not for lack of trying, in the sense that. <laughs> Wait, you, tried opening up. Like, <laughs> wait, you said don't tell me to send a message. Nah, I, 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 ain't, send a, I ain't send a message to nobody. Uh-huh. I ain't nobody ain't send me none. But I tried opening the app, and every time it would start loading and get to like eighty percent, and then stop, and I'm like, because it's blowing up. Oh, All so right, yeah. cool. And then we'll just close it, and then. Oh, so you like, actually tried it? Just they work up work out. To be honest, I was going to send somebody a, a message or answer the question or something. To be honest, the whole profoundly shit had confused me because I. It came I out just of yeah, no, not not that part. Like I just opened my messenger. 
and it was there and it said I had a message but I didn't mm. like click on anything or download anything mm. so I was like Somebody what the fuck cult. going yeah right <laughs> I was checking like how does that but yeah, you changed that to be honest quick. I did like I did participate in the profoundly thing but let me explain how like okay a couple of I had got a couple of messages and I just thought it was funny so I had shared them mm-hmm. um, also I didn't know how to reply to the fuck but like basically I only I, I get like three or four mm. Somebody proposed to me in the message. Random ass person. Around, I was like, "Hey guys, we get to marry." It was weird, wait, wait, wait. like fuck. Wait, wait, wait. I see, I see I'm two sides. Oh, the scunt here, right? It what? Was... Why? What made you? <laughs> wait, 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 I go bond. <laughs> I thought she gonna get mad at me for touching it again. You know what the thing is? I could barely hear myself now. So that no, I can't hear myself really. at all. Oh, okay, no, cool. No. Okay, cool. <laughs> Them headphones kind of trash. Oh, okay, that's why. Right, that's why. Right. Kind of I could hear Shaw and I could hear you. I can't hear myself. Mm-hmm. It's kind of rough. Nah, but you nah, so you don't you, you, you think good, you make good. Okay. Yeah, 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 you perfect. But the thing, the worst thing about that profoundly thing is, is there are people asking these questions and you send a fuck anonymous. How the fuck you want the people know who right? it is? No, my whole thing that is, is my whole thing is if you know, <laughs> no, my whole thing is if you know it's anonymous, why the fuck you putting it up? <laughs> Yo, to be honest, who is this? <laughs> if they wanted to <laughs> fucking know, they would have sent you the message directly. Damn you understand? It. Okay, wait. Let me let me Jesus explain. Christ. Are you? Let me explain how. I have participated in a profound meeting, okay? <laughs> so like basically uh, I had sent I had sent a few messages but uh, but the messages I sent was like just so like people will open it and like you know it wouldn't like make the day the, the like feel a little good, you know? Like so I had tell like wait, wait. I mainly had sent it to like girls mm-hmm. and it was like or oh, like your hair popping, or I like how you dress, like mm-hmm. you know okay. those type of things, like. And if so, it like your anti mask, <laughs> <laughs> your bow legged, no hair, <laughs> big yeah. forehead, big. No but that's really all I had sent. Like I, I, I had only sent it to. Okay, girls. no, no. My whole question is why? Okay, I understand like a lot of people, they kind of want that boost up or they kind of want that attention. But why you? Because I never know you as like a person. Like that want the attention and stuff like that. So why you personally open the profoundly question thing? I didn't like I said, I didn't open it. I legit went to my messenger mm-hmm. and it said you have a message from oh, like profound- that is what- I didn't fucking know. <laughs> so I opened it, I checked like what the hell? And then I think the first message I get, it was really sweet. And then I mm. didn't know how to reply in mess like send it to the person because it's fucking anonymous. Oh, okay. So I thought it was a really nice message. So I had share it and I was like, oh, this is cute. <coughs> Thanks, made my day, you know? Because yeah. it was legit. It wasn't nothing like, it wasn't asking me out or some fuck like that. It was mm. just somebody like... I saw a lot of people offering babies, offering to give people babies. Wow, marriage, that's right. That's Yo, why. Who, gonna, who, who gonna take who woman who need to oh, watch okay, this one? Like... Yo, stuff like that really bring out the real side of people. I, I feel it, Caribbean people... Like Saraha More toxic. No, what? The Saraha app. This happened yeah. before. We <laughs> that's what, before yeah, that. that's exactly what I, I thought it was on IG. I thought it was IG, but it was a Saraha. I can't even remember. Saraha or something. Whatever something that was. I feel like Caribbean people more toxic than gamers. <laughs> Nah. Lord, uh, you know what uh, bullshit is uh, not profoundly shit. That's true, though. <laughs> Yo, that's but you true. see, but, that's, but you see, that's another reason. That's another reason I didn't do it. I have some wild friends and family members, <laughs> so like see, the type of the type of shit that would probably get. Uh, 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 I ain't even. I ain't even. Read. I don't even think my ego would be able to take that. To be quite yeah. honest, I was mildly curious, but then I was like, the way I interact on social media, I just assume ain't nobody gonna send me shit anyway. <laughs> like I just pull shit. I don't know how they respond to most people' comments. Like it's mm-hmm. only certain. Yeah. Things. I just, oh no, I don't. That's, be, I be going back that's yeah. exactly. Oh, I, uh, that's what like surprised me about the profoundly thing, right? Because mm-hmm. like some of them. Like I got a couple of them, and it was really sweet. But like I, I genuinely don't know who the fuck would have sent me that. Cause it's not That's like I don't point. really interact with somebody like that, but it was it was stuff like it was kind of personal, because mm. like one of them was like like you look good or some shit like that, but it was like oh you intelligent this and that, and it was just like don't fuck with what others have to say about you. You just do you some some something if around us. If it's a man, he got game. Mm. But it's like I all I do is doing it anonymously. 
Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because okay, it right. wasn't like you're anybody. Right. You're right. It's, it's Wait, right. let me explain. Nobody, nobody was nobody was in <laughs> no, the DMs or anything like that. It was legit. Right, right, like, you're right. It's saying perfect. It's two sides of scones, though. Because on one side, is you sending these, you're asking questions like, yeah, will you marry me? And then you're sending it anonymous, anonymously. How the fuck you want a person to answer you? And then that's, on the next that's side, part I think, of why it's funny. And then though, on the like, next yeah, side, you're answering these, age. you're seeing these questions, you're posting them up, and then you ask, who's this? If they want you to fucking know, they would tell you. Okay, but I never asked. I think a lot of people just just lack self-esteem. You think the self-esteem is on? Yo, I was I I had see a a post somebody had made everybody on social media though. Huh? When you really get down to it, yeah. I mean, when you yeah. think of the premise of social media, what it's it, it for, is, it is yeah, to think that. Like like oh, okay, like true, true, true. To true. me, social media is designed for people but who same, like attention. But this, okay, you're right. You're right on that. And the, like, it, you're right on just, that just think about it. For example, the people that yes you know in real life. Yes think about no, the people man. that you know in real life. Mm. The type of people they are who are not on social media, who don't engage now. Mm. Usually, there are certain things about these people that they're busy, they focus, they're like a different type of person. Not to say that everybody yeah, on social my favorite, media. My favorite um, social media is <laughs> like LinkedIn. is LinkedIn, right? Mm. But I really do it because I want to promote myself. I but want that, the, but that's the same. Yeah. Well, wouldn't you? Well, and that's the same. To me, it comes mm-hmm. down to the same thing. Most of the people on social media, people who need attention, are doing mm-hmm. something that is in the entertainment ish field or something that they're doing it because they want attention. They're trying to sell you something. Like if you're a media person, an artist, or whatever, something like that, you on social media to try to sell something to get it out there. You want that's attention. True. You know. You that's know. What I it's designed too? for people who mm-hmm. want attention, in my opinion. You know. I realize too. Speaking of like people like artists and engineers and stuff like that, I really don't think social media is the best way to market yourself. Hmm. There's a lot of issues with it, but to me, it's great. It, it's like everybody to be posting their tracks on social. Hmm. I really don't think that they should be doing that. I don't so think. So what, what, what would be your advice to them then? So what I did um, was I was going to like promote. I wanted to promote a couple articles that I that I wrote right hmm. about um, Ella Pai. So what I made sure that I did first was, okay, get all my family and friends just to like read the article and like it. And the first one I had, it, I had like, you could, cause you could like more than once. I think you could like up to 20 or something times. Mm. Um, I, had I think it was like 50, or 50, 50 something. Because I remember I went on it and I was like, yeah. Mm. So I had everybody you, I like it you. 50 times. Mm. Right. And then what I did after was I just went to people that I know had the 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 the, 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 the network that I wanted to focus on mm-hmm. and I said you yeah, look at my article and then they see the 50 the, 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 it was a thousand claps or likes or something like this and then they start promoting it to this circle like oh this is mm-hmm. and then I think this, it would be the same with music as in like this game more targeted approach to marketing yeah mm-hmm. thinking about what's the demographic you're trying to read specifically and targeting and going to home. a radio station <clears throat> yeah, yeah but that's easier said than not for most people in the sense that yeah if, if you, you got good stuff the people gonna hear you yeah, yeah but, then, but I mean but even then, getting the opportunities like if the re- if the people don't fuck with you but then but but how then, much people try but but that's but that's the thing <clears throat> like who who really go into like phonics like for instance it's like it's like Holland for for example mm-hmm. who really go into phonics like six o'clock in the morning to like give them a USB or like doing that like, who doing constantly it? all the time doing it. I mean I don't know if that would help it might deny the fuck out of people, mm. but I mean, it's, I'm not, it's I'm not something. Saying, I'm not saying you're wrong or, or nothing like that, but mm-hmm. <clears throat> I just feel like in some ways it's kind of simplified a little bit for certain people. Then I, I, I certainly agree with you in the sense that mm-hmm. the, I feel that there's a lot of people out there who assume it's difficult, who assume they're not going to get through, who will be like, well, these people are not going to play it, they're not going to want my song type of shit and don't even... Try True. I kind of fall into that category myself because I just know the shit I play sounds nothing like what's the shit that I just make most of the time sounds nothing like what's on the radio. So I mm. assume they won't play it. I've tried and passed with certain shit, didn't work out, resulted in a song that's called "Is You Crazy," you know. So check that out if you want to. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's that's another thing too. I feel on like all streaming platforms or yeah, okay. I feel okay. like we just plug, like for instance, I really like to plug people. Wait, that sound really wrong. <laughs> it, you see, I, really you like, see, I mean, if I your prerogative is your life, I wasn't thinking about I mean, that until you say it. I wasn't going to like, pull into walls. You know, you see that sound wrong too. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I man. mean, okay. if what? that's what you want to do, I really, okay. I really like to connect people with other people. Uh, hey, okay, that, okay, that, that was a lot easier. <laughs> and and the thing is, I can never 
like promote you to somebody else unless I really think you're good at what you're doing. I, mm-hmm. I completely agree. And I feel like too many people person. just like because you're my cousin or whatever mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so and so, let me plug you. What mm-hmm. I do instead is, for instance, my brother doing this producing stuff as well. And he really getting better at it. But instead of... Because I know a lot of musicians and I know a lot of people in the event industry and stuff like this. Instead of me going first and say, yo, my brother, this and this and that, I make sure I think his work good first. Oh, so yes. I say, you know what? Work on this hi-hat here. Or do this and do that. Do that. Switch that up. I Maybe maybe another approach before I put him into the real world. And then when I think he good, he really good. And then that's the same, same thing with... um. Making Cam sure backs. that your cosign actually have some weight and stuff. Yeah, and being I it. feel like we did just throw that cosign, and mm-hmm. it shows a lot about your own integrity. Mm-hmm. Like if I just giving you the handing you people like so then mm-hmm. so then where do you draw a line of supporting your own and actually supporting good quality? The thing is, I support my own just by giving advice in the first place. Just by giving my opinion, I feel like that's support already. If I feel mm-hmm. like you drop a song. And maybe, in my opinion, I feel like you could uh, do something else. Or go, I will tell you that. Yeah, it's better. And to if be your next song become better, I'll be like, you know what? For instance, um, my 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 home, sh- shout out. Let me let me plug somebody real quick. Shout out Jay Hancho. He's a rapper. He dropped this Gucci Gang remix. I thought it was one of the best shits I ever hear from a Samaritan rapper. Hmm. Okay. So. Automatically, he didn't even know. He, I didn't even have to tell people. Like, like automatically, I say, "Yo, check this guy out." I, I, I hit up people in my school. Yo, look at this shit here. It's more and, genuine. Yeah, I feel, mm-hmm. I feel like it, because it's part of my integrity. Because I just only recommend good people, and people respect me because of that. Mm-hmm. And if you, I mean, if you just train out everybody, name, it's like okay, people mm-hmm. are just watching. Like, yeah, but you say the last person was good. What f- get out my face, please? Yeah, nobody gonna really hold holy word as merit. Or so any, I feel you could support people in much more productive ways than what we do now. Hmm. Just, okay. by, just by saying a degree. degree. So what what was other degree? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's <laughs> one. I feel like that's one aspect of support. I feel like there's just other aspects and other ways to support people in mm-hmm. general. And I feel like that's kind of more um, focused on just the a face to face type of thing. Yeah. Because like. So you do you feel that sharing people's stuff has any benefit? Um so I think more people on sh- Facebook. shared my stuff on Facebook, like my articles on Facebook and just because they want to support me. Mm. Right? But when I actually um reach to the people that I want to reach, whether it be LinkedIn mm. or whatever, I had my first article, it was eight thousand reads. I say, well, I could do better than that. So I made a more targeted approach where I went to people that I know actually was interested in programming and stuff like that mm-hmm. and that they could repost it as well. And I went face to face and I talked to them. And my second article reached 20, 22,000 reads. Hmm. Okay. And I also worked on my own self-marketing, making my content better mm-hmm. in the process because I got the feedback from real general people that I fuck with. And they like, yo, don't use those words. Use these words instead. Make a more entrecote look. Um, what do you say? Entrecote look. Attractive. Attractive. Um, um, a title and stuff mm. like this, and be more real, be more personal and stuff like this. And then twenty thousand people read it, and a bunch of people wanted to republish it and try to make money off of me and stuff like that. Mm. So I think I appreciated those feedback givers more than the people that was just throwing out likes for like and say. Hmm. And I do appreciate the the other support as well. Don't get me wrong, but I really feel I really feel more support by people actually giving me yeah, s- okay. feedback. But it does help to a certain degree, though, because I mean I remember what like the Ella Python like mm-hmm. you shared it on Facebook and get a clap so you could get a recognition mm-hmm. from the people you were trying yeah, so to that, yeah, contact. Because, so that's what I'm I saying. Didn't, I didn't have you. She kind of right because I didn't have you on Facebook and I saw your articles because somebody else on my Facebook had shared. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my whole. Um, that was the whole marketing that's scheme. Me. Okay. So I was talking to a bunch of like influencing or trying to influence people mm. on how they say hey, you need click baby titles you need this and that and then i'm checking like but wait a second i know how data science kind of works i'm not mm. a really great data scientist or machine learner but i know all these algorithms mm-hmm. right for instance for youtube they check in a, a certain amount of time if you get a certain amount of views it is recommended a certain more amount of people 
So if I could get already people who have nothing to do with tech just to kind of boost that viewing a little bit, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then my actual target o- audience going to read for, me more in, sure. in the first couple of yeah. days. So sense. I just play with that and it turns out to actually be true. It's like more people read it, I get more recognition for it. I got a question. This is for everybody in general. Because you had mentioned influencer and stuff like that. Yeah. Y'all think Samartin got like proper influencers like how the States and, and like Europe and thing got? In what, in what fields? Yeah? Yeah. In, in, what, in, what, in like just social media influencer? Yeah, social media influencer. Name three. You can name three? I can see DJ Ice. Name nobody. Ice? Ice from S- SXM. You find so? He got like 55,000 I don't know. followers or something like that. No idea. Um, I don't even say nothing. <laughs> are you? <laughs> I just, I just curious. What I really think we lack though is influence in the Caribbean. What do you mean? For instance, I, f- I really think Samaritan has a good quality of music to be compared to, to like export, Trinidad. And if you were to export it regionally to the Caribbean. So. I think we would be way bigger than where we are now. Hmm. And to me, I like all of that type of stuff is kind of like the idea or a part of the mindset behind the show with the idea to be regional. That's why we got the Ruben people. That's why we got our token of Ruben all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but <laughs> like, you know, logic. the thing is, it's, ki- it's kind of rough when you're like, it's one Ruben versus like three semana. Well, we ain't even yeah. fighting yeah. you or nothing. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's you know not, how much I don't roast like Aruba that. when I'm not around, are you? Oh, us too. <laughs> I us know. Too. I know there's rust to my face. Us but yeah, but yeah, what I'm saying mess. is like, I can't have a conversation here by myself. You check. One drop of water that. hit Aruba, the whole place flood out. Okay, but we all, all I'm saying is, for my past and Aruba was fine. So, yeah, true, true, true. hey, don't be yeah. trying to shit us about it. I'm just saying, you're walking out of the room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you won, you won. That, that's a whole different thing. I was saved then, Aruba was chilling. I, okay, true, 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 true. true. Wait, that's a real wait. My father yeah. lose his roof. So. <laughs> Did he? No, he lose a card though. We should start Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we here for over and forty minutes already. And this Bye. is like our longest podcast in a while. Yeah, yeah. but it's, it's been a minute since it's we just. It's been a minute. Start. Um, closing closing statements, closing words, closing what would be the paragraphs. Last things you would like to let the people know. The yeah, what you got? What you got coming up next? Well, well, quick, 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 quick. I would much rather give just give advice to people coming up. Okay, so if they want if they want to get more into coding or programming no, just, in general, just being a young show? professional, um, make sure that you always keep your integrity. Okay. Hmm. So don't show a different face with different people. Try to present your way in the best way possible, of course, but always keep your integrity and support your others because you're going to, that energy gonna come back around for you. And it and I'm like my mother. I learned from my mother to plug other people and make sure that. Eh, it's, it's you lot. see, you do you do it to yourself. <laughs> if you didn't say that in the first place, I would have never take that way. Now I can't get it off. <laughs> <laughs> support, say support, support now. other support. people, <laughs> and to um remain true to yourself and always remain like a respectable person. And I take that and I kind of run with that advice, and it really benefited for me. And Just because I like help other people. And I support other people. They support me. And it's like, instead of a vicious circle, it's a really pleasant circle. Because right. I just keep the energy going. That's good. That's, that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, you were saying something? Reciprocity. That's all. Oh, see? That's like what I, is. I know how to spell that word. I just don't know. Wait, wait, oh, I, can't, I, can't, oh, yeah? I can guarantee you <laughs> I can't, can't spell, spell it for you. R- <laughs> don't, don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to yourself. R-E-C-I-P-R-O Cussy C A C Y. What? I tried. You just made hot. I tried to save him, and I saw him. We're going to use this clipper. We're going to use this part as promoter. All right, so anybody that just get you more views. I support that. Anybody else? Can you stop? Why your head up? Stop! Why your head up? But yeah, you know I wasn't a good English person. I tried my best. Um, <laughs> Go true <through>, king. <laughs> but yeah, like I said earlier in the podcast, you know, the plugs is the same this this week. It's just make sure to check out all the Tree Conscious Cats music. Hope stream it, all of that stuff. That's all I got. What type of music y'all is do? It's, it's rap. <laughs> this is the time to ask. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nah, but I never, I never oh, hear anyway. you tell me what type of music it was on the podcast. So <laughs> I was just like, curious. 
Yeah, maybe mm. somebody else was. The intro was made by King Two, by the way, if you didn't know. Yeah. You see, now we're gonna check out the music. Cause cause the in, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the intro, the bump. The intro, the bump. Yeah. I've been, yeah, I've been bump. telling him. It's, it's almost two years now. I've been telling him he actually got put out a but whole track so with that. But the music sounds like that. <laughs> like the vibe of what it, I mean it's an intro it's like 8 seconds or That's 10 true. seconds or something. They got already. Longer, yo check right? it out and yeah. think and, and see for yourself yeah. give, give you that. how about that so with that being said on all streaming King? platforms <laughs> no, I'm kidding yeah hair killer says like assistant you. man <laughs> yeah, yeah YouTube music as well mm, yeah it's there on YouTube okay cool just type it in three times so you can find some stuff what kind of what you got by, you we got, got for the people we got parties coming up um but yeah, I kind of forget this last couple of weeks, but like I've been saying, we need to stop people. In, this is more for Saint Martin in general. We gotta stop depending on government, start looking out for ourselves because we obviously see government ain't doing a goddamn thing. So try to look out for ourselves and try to look out for each They're other. Selling out the airport, man. Huh? They're selling out the airport. Look, right? Man. It's the end of the podcast. Let's not. Let's let's not. Let's let's not. Positive vibes. <laughs> right. So yeah, positive vibes. Right. Right. All right, just all right. I just look out for each other and yeah, hold it on. Cool. All right. So with all of that being said, people, I think it's safe to say we'll close off. I mean, it's uh, went forty five minutes now, so I think not long enough. Yeah, but well, respect if anybody still here, you know. <laughs> we appreciate everybody. Those two yeah. people. We appreciate everybody, you know, listening to. And again, thanks for Ryan for coming up. Yes, yes, no for problem. sure. We is definitely an in, he is definitely sure. an interesting young man, thanks. and I I looking forward to see what Sounds you're going like to do. <laughs> I looking forward to see what was in store for you in the future. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, and thanks for having me up here, guys. It was yeah, man. Anytime. Nice convo, nice convo, nice convo. We, we we trying to we trying to actually do what we saying. We ain't gonna just bitch on the podcast and be like, yeah, we should be doing this, we should be doing that. Now nah, we are actually gonna be bigging up the people that we think that we should be bigged up. Yeah. All right, cool. And drop a cool. drop a elko in here one time for the summer. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 We are getting fat. We are getting fat. We are getting fat. I got fun in my apartment. If you want, I can bring it next time. Cause hey, this we've is been trying to close out for ten minutes now, yes. King. Let me let me so do people. <laughs> we'll see y'all the next time we link up. We said enough. Later. <laughs> <laughs>